Hey guys, so welcome to the intermediate class. Today we're going to go through some recovery or guard retention from specific situations and uh, we're going to start out with the leg drag position uh, and this is a very nice technique which goes into a lot of advanced techniques later on as well and uh, I know Christian loves this position because it goes into a 50-50 game. Uh, he's one of the few heavy guys that has this kind of game so it's always interesting uh, to go in there with him. <laughs> So, starting from the leg drag, right, and what happens here is the guy is already in there, right? Eventually, what I want to be doing is I want to create some space, because uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook the back of his leg here with this foot, right? As you can see clearly now, it's super hard because I can't reach his foot from this distance, right? But what I want to do here is I want to grab his collar or at least make a frame to push his head away to this side. When I do that, I'm also elevating or I'm putting his weight on this side, which makes this leg a lot lighter, right? So I'm gonna help out with the top leg a little bit here. And now, suddenly my foot or my leg can come inside and I can hook the front of his shin here, okay? So when I do that, I can bring his foot up. And you see, this enables me to bring the bottom leg through, okay? And suddenly this happens to give you a lot of different setups, right? But today we're gonna to go super simple, a little bit savagery, but here I wanna grab his foot and I'm gonna pull it towards him. So as I do so, I'm forcing Christian to either roll or stretch his leg here, okay? So let's say if Christian rolls, we end up in a 50-50 position, okay? Nice and easy, I can come on top and then start to get out of the 50-50, right? And then I even get two points, perfect. I was in a bad position, now I'm winning by a sweep, right? So another situation just quickly here. So I pushed Christian away, I got my hook, and what can happen is he just straightened his legs here, and we wanna pull it over, and so we end up in the 50 here as well, right? Now he's of course standing, but from here I have a lot more to uh, attack with compared to the situation I first was in, in the leg drag, right? From here, you could always sweep, come up, and even get the sweep, right? So, look at the position here again. And maybe a different angle. Wow. So here, first off, I want to make sure to push his head away. You could grab the gi here. Uh, just make sure that your hand doesn't slip off his neck, right? This is not going to help. The opposite collar is not going to help, right? You want to make sure you're really hitting right on his neck here. If that doesn't help, just go with the hand or the like a fist if you want to be a douche, right? So you can push here. And now I'm going to open up and make him put his weight on that side here, right? So now I'm going to bring this leg down and hook his shin, okay? Having this hook, I'm pulling it up and now my bottom leg can slide under, okay? Nice and easy here. I'm just gonna pull his leg to me and go for the 50-50. So I stopped the leg drag position or his leg drag attempt and now I'm in a 50-50 where I can start attacking, right? And I'm in a 50-50 from the bottom position, which is a strategical advantage, big time, okay? Thank you guys. Okay guys, so we're gonna go a little bit further to another specific situation. Uh, the Toriano guard, or <laughs> Toriano guard, Toriano pass. So he's gonna go for a, a classical Toriano pass with both of the pants grip here. And as he does so, I'm gonna counter, right? So, here, right? First things first, I'm gonna grab both of his hands if I can, right? This is always a good idea. And as he goes now to one side, I wanna prioritize this side here, okay? So what I'm looking to do now, Christian is gonna drop, and I wanna really stretch this arm here. We're just gonna turn a little bit. I really wanna stretch this arm here and prevent him from turning in towards me, right? So having this in mind, I can start bringing this elbow up here and really framing so that if he tries to turn in, it's hard for him to go anywhere, okay? So from here, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna open my elbow and I want to capture, like I want to isolate his arm here, okay? So I want to bring my elbow over his arm 
and I'm gonna do like a omoplata switch with my legs here, okay? So now there's a couple of things that can happen. A lot of the times his arm either lets go and I can start coming back, right? Or if he straightens his arm, there is a couple of situations here for an arm bar or if he wants to roll here, classical, go, go, go. <laughs> here, you could block the leg and come in, okay? So looking at, at from the beginning here, He's grabbing my, my pants, right? And straight away, I want to grab his sleeves to just be ready. And from there, I can go into spider guard and all those kinds of things, right? But this time, he got, got me and started passing, okay? So remember, just really straighten this arm to prevent him from coming closer or higher up on your torso, right? So watch how I came up with my elbow here, and I'm going to go and try to capture his arm here, right? So I'm going to capture his arm and switch my legs here, okay? If his arm is straight, nice and easy, you have a little submission here. If not, he's going to try to roll. If he's turning in, he's creating space, and I can go back to my guard, right? So, here, grab, he walks, here, okay? If you just make space, nice and easy, because he's scared here, then I'm going to go back, nice and easy. If he's super let's say dedicated to this grip here, and this is all he wants. Like he, he, he went through 30 years of growing up just for this. So here, I'm fighting to capture his arm here, right? If he turns into me like this, yeah, this, oh, this, then I'm back in my guard, right? If he's still there, I'm looking for this, where I'm heavy on his shoulder here, okay? It's really heavy, pushing his arm down, and here, you can either bend it or force him to roll and come up in a good position, okay? Let's... <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so we're gonna go a little bit further here. First one we did was a very low Toriando kind of pass. Now we're gonna go for a little bit higher one where he's still standing and he hasn't put all his weight on top of me yet. So, same scenario. Christian is going for my pants and I'm going for his sleeves, right? So when he starts passing, he's still here standing right above me, okay? So what I'm gonna look for now is I'm gonna bring this leg in in front of his hips, okay? So watch how I also grip the collar. So if he's grabbing here, I'm looking to do this here and loop it behind his tricep here, okay? As I do so, I'm keeping him low by holding his collar and I'm still holding his, his arm here, okay? So now, make sure to stretch his leg all the way through so you're hooking the opposite hip here as much as possible, okay? So now, from here, I can break the grip, but if he's still holding, that's fine too. I can now bring my bottom leg in between his legs and push, okay? So now he's spinning and rolling here, okay? Nice and easy to follow up. I'm just gonna bring my hips in, and here we have a flashy little arm bar, okay? So, so here he grabs my pants, I grab his sleeve straight away. So from here, I grab his collar and I'm looking to throw this leg in. Watch how I'm putting it on the inside between my arms and not on the outside here, okay? So I'm gonna go in, and then I want to throw it in behind his tricep, okay? So this is a little bit of a timing. You have to get used to it. So as he goes, so here, you're looking to throw this leg in and hook the side of his hip, okay? You might have to really engage and bring your hips up to throw that leg in. But once you're here, you're good to go. You wanna bring that bottom leg and step underneath his base here. And now, nice to sweep him. I'm just gonna turn over to this side, still holding grips. Boom, and there we go, right? Now, if you want to break the grip, hips in, and here, into the arm bar. Okay, one last time. Grab, here, and here. That's how you throw a person into a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
Okay guys, so we're gonna go a little bit further here. Last one for today, a little bit of stack pass and how I like to recover from the stack pass here, okay? So, starting from the classical uh, over-under position here, where Christian is getting super tight and it's important to note that I don't want his head to cross my hips here. Now, I'm kind of doomed. Of course, there's way to, ways to recover, but it's gonna be a scramble and a hell of a fight, right? So I wanna make sure that I'm on my side here. And what I'm looking to do here is to grab his collar on this side here, right? Again, I wanna make sure not my hand, my hand doesn't slide off his, his neck. So I wanna really be punching straight into his neck here, okay? So I'm creating space. If you feel like it's hard to use this hand straight away, you're gonna use that other hand to create a frame and then you can come up, okay? So now, I'm on my, on my elbow, this is gonna help me elevate and free the bottom leg, okay? So here, you could always keep your foot on his hip or just like stepping a little bit on his back. This is gonna help me create some distance. But now, I'm gonna turn myself to the floor and bring that bottom knee out, and now I'm free to come back to guard, okay? So, where you end up in the end doesn't really matter that much but you wanna create space, that's the important part, right? So here, make sure you first prevent him from getting his head over to the side here, okay? So I can bring that other hand to create a frame, and now I'm gonna grab his collar here and punch his neck away, okay? As I do so, I'm gonna come up on my elbow here, okay? So now I'm gonna turn and look down towards the floor so I can bring my knee out, okay? So here, I'm free and I can start setting up different guards and move around, okay? So, there you go. Yeah. So here, stop him from getting his head over, get that frame, and now grab the collar and punch the neck, okay? So from here, come up on my elbow, turn my knee down to the floor, pull it out, and here, I'm ready to go back to car, or even in a, in a scramble position, maybe fight for the top position there as well, right? Okay guys, so welcome to the intermediate class. So today we're gonna to go through some recoveries from very specific situations. Um, and the first one we're gonna start with is the leg drag. And uh, this is a super nice position going into uh, some advanced techniques. And one of them is uh, like the 50-50 position that we're gonna end up in. And this is some of the things that Christian especially loves setting up and uh, he's one of the few heavier guys that love this kind of game and I think it's uh, something that we want to share with you. So, here in the leg drag position, it's important to point out that he's putting his weight here, okay? So watch how it's going to be hard for me to try to move this leg down to hook his leg here, okay? So first things first, what I have to do is I have to frame his face and push him away. So when I do that, watch how much easier it becomes and how lighter this leg becomes here, okay? So that also makes some space so that I can start hooking my foot behind and like in front of his shin here, okay? So having this hook here is gonna help me lift his leg and now I can get that bottom leg through and catch his leg here, okay? So from here, we're gonna go for like a super savage and nice basic way of getting out of here, right? So what I'm gonna to try to do here is I'm gonna grab his leg and I'm gonna pull it towards me. Now there's a couple of things that can happen. Nice and easy, if he feels the torque on his knee, he's gonna roll over his shoulder here and we end up in a 50-50 position here, okay? So it's either that or another scenario where I push, I get the hook, and now he stretches his leg and we end up in the 50-50, but here I'm more likely to end up on the bottom in the 50-50. But this is totally fine. I'm ending up in a much safer position than I was uh, before, and there's a couple of things that I can do here, especially in no uh, depending on the rules, you have a lot of things you can do, right? So, starting from the setup here, I'm just gonna turn the angle this way, okay? So from the setup here, I wanna make sure that I'm framing his face or his neck and I'm pushing him away, okay? So doing that creates the space and it's gonna make him less heavier on this side here. So now I'm bringing this foot down and hooking his leg, 
okay? So now my other leg is free to come underneath and I can start grabbing his foot, okay? You can go both hands here and just pull for all your, like, all your might here. And now he stretches out and we're in the 50-50 position, right? From here, nice and easy, you can just go for the sweep, come up on top, get those points, uh, especially in competition. It's important to note that uh, entering the 50-50 position from bottom is a very uh, strategical, correct thing to do, okay? So thank you guys. Hey guys, so we're gonna go for a little guard retention from spot and side control here. And this is something I love to do in Nogi, especially because it's a little bit more of a scramble game. And uh, from here, oh, I'm on the bottom. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring this arm here under his armpit, right? Sometimes this can also happen like at the moment he's starting to pass, my arm is already trapped under his armpit here, and then I can already start going for the move, right? So what I wanna do here is I'm gonna launch myself under and I'm gonna start turtling in towards Christian here. So I'm going here, watch how I'm sliding under him here, and now I'm gonna hook around his leg, right? So we're gonna turn around a little bit here. I wanna get as deep as possible with this arm here. Not a shallow grip, this is, this is, he's just gonna sprawl out of it and then he's gonna fall on top of me, right? So I wanna make sure I'm really going deep here and I'm now gonna start walking around Christian here, here, right? Ideally, I wanna to start to get to Christian's back, right? That's perfect. And most of the time, there's always gonna be an overhook or it's pushing me down to the floor, right? And so what I have to do here, I can connect my hands, I can start walking around here. Eventually, his hooks are gonna be weak and then I can start advancing to a different position. Of course, scramble-wise, it's always better to be safe than under in the side control, right? So, here on the bottom, I'm pushing him a little bit away so I can get some space and get this arm under, right? So if it's too tight here, it's not gonna be easy, right? I'm gonna push him and get my arm underneath. So now, I'm throwing myself and sliding under here, okay? So from here, I can connect my hands palm to palm, and now I'm gonna stay tight and I'm gonna walk around, right? So if he's allowing me to go to his back, that's perfect, okay? But if not, if he's really hooking inside here, I have to walk and put pressure around, and then eventually his hook or his overhook is gonna be weak, or at least I can create a scrabble and some space so I'm out of the bottom position. Oops. Okay guys, we're gonna go a little bit further, a little different scenario from side control where I'm gonna start turtling and what happens is he's being tight and throwing his arm over, right? So let's say from the side control here. And I managed to get this arm out as he came here, right? If this arm is underneath here, you're not gonna be able to turtle anywhere, okay? So you wanna be able to have this arm free and now I'm gonna go this way, okay? So this is usually especially like as he passes, he's trying to close up, and that's my moment to come up into the turtle, okay? Important part, you're risking, your, his, his, he can take your back, right? So you have to be careful and know that the danger is there, that he's gonna try to get his hooks in, he's gonna try to fight for the back control, okay? But once I'm here, there's a couple of things I can do. So, first of all, I want to be able to retain my guard. So the easiest version here is that I'm gonna sit back, I'm gonna put my legs in front of Christian, so now I'm back to my guard, right? So let's say Christian passes me. So here, I'm gonna go back up into the turtle here, and I'm gonna sit back into the guard here, right? And there's a little bit of timing here. Let's do one more time. So here he passes me, I'm gonna turtle in here, okay? And so I wanna create some space between my hips and his, okay? So if you guys can see here, now I'm gonna move my bottom leg through so I can sit back and play guard again, okay? So that's one of the basic, basic moves there. But we're gonna do a little extra sweep here. Once I came to the turtle and he really persists on having this arm over here. So this is like a super basic, uh, sweep here that's super nice, especially if his elbow is so close here, okay? 
So important part is that his elbow can't be up here. That's not gonna help me, okay? So a common mistake people do is that the elbow is this far down and now I can catch it, okay? So now I'm gonna roll over my shoulder. I essentially do the same movement as I was sitting back before, but now I bring him with me here, okay? So once I come here, I can control, oops. <laughs> So once I come here, I can control his hips. I can come up on top, nice and easy. Set up the nice side control here. So let's go back. So I'm gonna catch his elbow here, and we're gonna roll over the side. Boom, here, okay? And here I can control. Of course, you have to be careful. There's a couple of things you can do from here. Uh, one that I really don't like is when they cross face your face here like this and then you end up on the bottom again, right? So having this arm controlled, you could buy yourself a little bit of time and then come low and stay tight with your head, okay? So one more time. So I catch his elbow and we start rolling and stay tight, okay? Of course, eventually I want to let go and switch and come to the side control. Okay guys, so you're going to go through a different variation of a sweep here or almost like a submission uh, from the turtle position here. So as I was saying before, for the sweep, I really want to be able to catch his elbow here, right? But sometimes uh, Christian is a little bit smarter than that, so he's going to just pull his elbow out and I'm just right on top of his wrist here, okay? So important part here, I want to create some space between my hips and his hips, okay? So as I do so, I'm going to bring my head around here, okay? So I want to create space, bring my head out, and as soon as my head is out, I want to close up the space again. Watch how I'm still holding his arm here so that I can set up a little bit of a Kimura control here, right? So now I want to close up the space I can even bring my bottom leg in like this, and here we go, going for our back tank, okay? Of course, a little bit of momentum, explosiveness in the position, but here, I'm right on his wrists, and I'm creating a little bit of space here. So I'm moving my head out, and here we go, okay? So I'm gonna slide the bottom leg in, and fall on the side here, right? If we end up in the back control with Christian's arm right behind, this is super nice for submissions. Like, if you want to, you can just raise it on a little bit or create a wrist or do like a wrist lock here. You could also go for a choke as one of his arms is behind his back, so there's less for him to defend with, right? So, this one is a little bit flashy. Likely your partner will fall for it once, but not twice, right? But then, <laughs> sometimes that's all you need, right? So here, I'm gonna catch his wrist. I'm gonna move away and bring my head around here, okay? Head around, now I can tighten up the space and bring him down, okay? Nice and easy here. You have a, some, a couple of submissions that you can do with this arm here, or just get tight, get those points, and yeah, you're good. Thank you guys.